Hey there, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. If you like Steve in Smaller Bites, you can watch him in shorts right here on YouTube or on TikTok as Steve Hayes T.O.Q. Now, let's go see the one and only Steve Hayes, the Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Happy Halloween. <laughs> you know, I've always had a thing about man-eating plants. I think I'm the only person who ever watched Little Shop of Horrors and got genuinely scared to this thing. So I decided to do a movie about man-eating plants, and I chose 1962's The Day of the Trippets. Starring Howard Keel, Howard Keel, Nicole Moray, Kieran Moore, and Jeanette Scott. Now, this was based on a novel by John Weidman, who was a very famous sci-fi. He had done the this, this story for Village of the Damned, which was a really big hit in the early 60s, about the kids who walked around and had their eyes like this and froze people, and you know, it was very, very scary. This story, there is a meteor shower one night all over the world. And everybody is called out to look up at the meteor shower. This is an extraordinary thing that's never going to happen again. Well, the following morning, everyone in the world who looked at that meteor shower is blind. It has burned out the retinas in their eyes. So Howard Keel, by chance, is in a London hospital and has had an eye operation and had his eyes covered. So he goes to uncover his eyes and he's the only person who can see. When I tell you the what they did with this budget about London people walking around into windows walking out it, it it's really it's really terrifying. They're climbing statues, they don't know where they are, they're completely disoriented. It's one of the most terrifying things. Do not smoke. Do not light matches. Stay clear of all electrical equipment. That's not bad enough. Here we go. Accompanying all of these meteors is a plant that is later identified as Trifidus. A what? A Trifid. And they eat humans. Why should they attack people? Most plants thrive on animal waste, but I'm afraid this mutation possesses an appetite for the animal itself. And it moves. It doesn't just grow. It moves. And at the beginning of the movie, there's this guard in the London Botanical Garden when he's listening to the radio. It's at night and he's watching the meteor shower and you hear in the background, <coughs> he turns, he just keeps eating his sandwich and you see this plant just starts growing and it's growing and it's growing and pretty soon it has this root that comes out and starts pulling it. And he's sitting there and he is so terrified. And finally he turns around and it's right over him and it has teeth like this. And it goes and it slashes him, like paralyzes him and just grabs him and pulls him in. And Got it? So these plants are now all over the world and they are pollinating. So they are growing like crazy and people are just blind and walking right into them and getting devoured. <laughs> Howard Keel goes to the train station and the train comes in and it's out of control. It doesn't even know it's coming in the station. It crashes in the station, people falling all over the place. And out of one of the back cars comes this little girl who can see. And one of the guys, these blind guys grabs her. You can see, you can see, you're coming with me, you're mine. And they start fighting over the little girl because she can see and she's screaming and screaming. And Howard Keel goes over and pushes her away from the guy. And the guy says, thief, thief, you stole her, thief, thief, thief. So he goes and they cross London Bridge and, they, and cars have been abandoned, just abandoned. So he gets into a car and they start driving, right? And the car stalls. They have to go around the car and the car gets caught in the mud. So he says to the little girl, go and get us some rocks and we'll put them under the wheels. She goes and she said, and all of a sudden you hear this. And she looks up and 
<laughs> there's one right there. And she looks on the other side and <laughs> there's another one right there. So they're closing in on her. And she runs and they get in the car and, and it's getting closer and they can see it in the rear view mirror. And suddenly he gets a little ground and the car goes just as the thing goes across the black windshield, almost gets him. So they get, they pull into this house and out come these people who can see. You can see. You do. Well, do you live near here? We've been gathering all sorts of people from the area, local people who can't see in this big house. We're gonna try to get them out of here. They're all our neighbors and friends. They've been around for a long time. And Howard Kiel says, ah, and he meets this wonderful, beautiful woman named Nicole Murray, this French actress. And you know, they, there's sparks there. That story sort of stops for a moment and we cut to a lighthouse on the coast of England. And in this lighthouse is this science couple who have come to study marine life and they've set up a lab in this lighthouse. And he's an alcoholic and he just wants to get off this lighthouse and get back and get a drink. I suppose you're losing valuable drinking time. It's Kieran Moore, he's such a hunk, he's so gorgeous. And Janet Scott, who's, who was a child star, she's really pretty and she's there. And they pick up radio signals that this has happened and that there's these plants growing. I'm not drunk, am I? I wish you were. Sure enough, there's a triffid right there on the island and it's growing and it starts to come towards the lighthouse and it breaks in. <coughs> he screams and it almost gets her and he cuts the head off. So they take it and they dissect it, you know. I assure you it's not for the greater glory of science. I just want us to survive. And they go, oh, let's, let's take a break. So they go up to the fourth floor to take a break. Meanwhile, the Triffid goes <laughs> across the floor, <laughs> climbs up on the table, and <laughs> attaches itself to the other piece. And the thing goes, <laughs> <laughs> and it starts working its way across the floor. <laughs> and it starts going up the stairs. <laughs> going up the stairs and Jeanette Scott looks down and she goes wow she just freaks out it just leaves all of a sudden it just breaks through a window and it leaves so it's like why is it leaving well it's leaving to gather up friends who have now started on the island and let's do the whole thing together so cut now we're back at the house with Howard Keel and Nicole Murray and the people. And the guy who owns the house and he goes out with Howard Kill to see if they can find a way to get around all these plants. And they see thousands of them. And I mean thousands of them have coming from this crater where one of these meteors landed. So they are surrounded and they're all moving towards the house. And they're coming and they're storming and they're doing the whole... <laughs> Remember the teeth in Alien when the guy would open up the teeth? You know, they've got that kind of mouth, you know. <laughs> coming and they're crying to break into the house and that's where I'm gonna leave it because I'm not gonna tell you the end. Howard Keel was such a good actor. He had a big career in musicals, you know. He got to do Kiss Me Kate and, and Annie Get Your Gun and he did all these huge, huge musicals. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I mean, and he was a big, hunky guy. He later had a career. He got, he lucked out. He became a regular on Dallas for years and he was a regular and he had a really good career until the end. He had a good job. But at this point, he was looking for other things to do and he, this came up and he thought, well, why not? You know, it's, it's a rank organization production. It's good. So he, he signed on to that. Jeanette Scott had been a child star. Her mother was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite British character actresses, Thora Heard, Dame Thora Heard. She was wonderful, wonderful. She's always playing, you know, housekeepers who are a little noisy, you know, and she was just wonderful. And Jeanette Scott was in movies like No Highway in the Sky with Jimmy Stewart and Marlene Dietrich. She grew into a really nice, pretty ingenue, like Hayley Mills kind of thing. But then she stopped and she ended up taking care of her mother. But <laughs> when these things happened. Um, but this movie, for me, when this movie came out, I was a kid and I saw this movie and it absolutely terrified me for years. Hitchcock found this with the birds. You take an average thing that everybody takes for granted 
and make them sinister. And you've got a recipe for horror that you can't break. And you are going to have chills and thrills watching Howard Keel, Nicole Murray, Hunky Kieran Moore, and Jeanette Scott battle man-eating plants from outer space in the day of the Triffids. Let's all go to the lobby. That story's a story. That story's a story. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.